All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ESCA and ESL's coverage of the Pro League Season 2. My name is Mega Man. Joining me this evening is the one and only Jason Moses O'Toole. How are you doing, my buddy? I'm doing good. Doing really well. All right. Well, tonight's going to be a fantastic night of uh, Pro League head-to-head uh, -head action as we do start off with Follow Esports and Liquid on uh, Inferno to start is that what tonight. It is? It's Follow Esports. Yep. See, this tag made yes, me sir. think like this tag made me think like Iron Pro. Because well, that's that's the uh, periodic table. I got you. Okay, I got right. you. I'm with you on this one. They, they took a what was it? A, a Breaking Bad, a little bit out of Breaking Bad's book for their logo as well. I like it. Yeah. So that 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 confused me a little bit, but we're back at it now. Follow esports. All right, that's in the brain. All right. Well, definitely looking forward to this one. Back in the caster seat. You know, we haven't really had a chance to talk too much in the uh, in the past couple of weeks. I know that you. Uh, have been traveling abroad for a bit. I'm sure you guys touched on it a little bit last night. Welcome back stateside at least. Yeah, good to be home. Good to be home. These travel days, they're long, man. All right. And there are 10 players in the server right now, so we're just waiting for them to uh, get ready to live up here and get this one underway. Like we said, it is Follow Esports versus Liquid. Now, Liquid, we can talk about a little bit because we got a chance to see them last night on train, and they did look a little bit uh, lackluster, to say the least. I know that uh, James, their coach, put out a tweet uh, last night saying that they weren't necessarily as prepared for the map as uh, they would have liked to have been. Yeah, it's just it's just new teams. I mean, it takes a while to go through the whole map rotation to to get through... I mean, there's there's just so many maps, seven, and to get to the level to compete at, at this in the professional scene, I mean, it takes time. So they just haven't had it quite yet on train, but um, th they did get surprisingly beat up pretty badly. To be completely honest, I was surprised at the scoreline, not necessarily at the loss, but but just the scoreline. Conquest really smacked them around a little bit. Oh, absolutely, and that was one of the big things that I was taking out of that as well was the fact that. Um they they were so successful talking about conquest gg um the fact that they were so successful i think it was 16 to 6 was the final score and you know a lot of people were kind of taken aback by that by how well they did play and honestly i kind of i kind of called it early on that at least last season um with tempo storm the last couple of players that they had picked up you know when rush and naf joined the squad and everything like that that they were going to be able to do some damage in the pro league the next season and already starting off taking down liquid which is you know considered to be a lot of people's one of the top five teams in north america uh yeah they're probably probably like top yeah top five is yeah for sure i, I would say they're they're even you know maybe top three or top four you could argue and, and very quickly with this edition of hiko so he's got them all playing very very well uh it probably is a little bit of that honeymoon period we'll have to see as the time goes on but i mean the real point of it is that they're they're starting to play very well together as dreamhack stockholm as the major qualifier gets closer so that's kind of the timing that's really really cool to see yeah, and that's kind of exciting as well, but, you know, it's just a couple of tweaks here and there, especially on train, because there was a lot of really close rounds. I was watching you guys cast it last night, and there was a lot of really close rounds that could have gone one way or the other. But really, the, the main factor that came into play as far as uh, I saw was really just that economy situation that we, we kind of touch on so many times in the past is that they kept the money down. Uh, Conquest did a good job of keeping the money down on Liquid side, and they weren't able to get those full buys constantly, so it put them in a hole uh, big time. And then, you know, losing the second round eco after winning T-side pistol and then also subsequently losing the CT-side pistol definitely didn't help them at all either. Yeah, yeah, that's the real thing. After I, after that first half, I, and then losing pistol round in second half, Liquid really only had like one chance to to, to stabilize their economy, and, and they failed at it. So I mean, that was pretty much the match right there. Just ended very quickly in that second half. But uh, either way, I don't expect them to have too much trouble uh, against Follow Esports in this matchup. I expect them to clean this up, especially starting CT side of Inferno. This should be a pretty good, pretty good first half for them, where they could just crush it. Agreed, as we did just see them pick up that knife round, so they do choose to start on the CT side, obviously the more favorable side here on Inferno. And again, for those of you tuning in from home, you do have Liquid on the CT side. That's Elise Nitro, Hiko, Fugly, and Adren facing off against Follow Esports, which is Hades, Wabbit, Els, Ape, and Odig, Mr. Ocean himself. So we'll see how they decide to play this pistol round as we do move forward into the first round of this matchup. And again, Elise actually going to get very aggressive. Oh my goodness, Ape's just going to completely annihilate him. So that early aggression there from Liquid gets completely shut down. And uh, they're going to be forced to play a man down for the rest of this pistol round. 
Yeah, this round might just be over. I, I mean, the two flankers, nice shot from Hiko, but they walked all the way past those players hiding on T-Ramp. Fugly turns around, but there's not much he can do. Now the B-bomb set is completely open. You can see the shift start to happening in the defense. And actually, it's Follow Esports right now that has a decision to make because they're very, very spread out. Nitro's got to do some work here, though. Yeah, he is going to get smoked off. He does take Ocean down to 69, so the nade comes in as well as L eats that one a little bit. And now the peak comes out. L's going to take that. Adren does eliminate Ocean, so that is going to be another casualty here for the follow esports side but again three versus three post plant situation and a lot of work left for the liquid side if they do want to be able to win this uh pistol round hades playing back from the new box they've got one in emo that's going to be l's and then also over by the uh banana hall but here's the duel in the back of that bomb site and hiko's actually going to pick up a third and a oh, fourth my of the round and he's got a kit <laughs> so Nico, the one-man wrecking crew in the pistol round. We saw his Tech 9 work, uh, what was it, a week ago on cash, and now we get to see him with the P2000 popping heads. That was four headshots for Hiko that round. Yeah, that was absolutely sick. What a round from him. Not only that, but Adren had the kit initially, so when he falls in water, uh, Hiko has to, he knows he has to take, he has to come into this bomb site through that pathway, so he's got three angles that are, you know, that are being covered, one player in back right, one back left, and one over towards Banana, so, I mean, he has to hit those shots when he does, and just a masterful round from Hiko. Doing what Hiko does best, get headshots. And now we see the aggression again coming out from the CT side. This time it's going to be Nitro down mid with the MP7. He's going to find one. Elyse down Banana as well. So they're really turtled up now on the terrorist side. They've got absolutely no map to work with right now. You can see they've got the balcony push as well from Fugly holding them in the alternate mid. He's going to get triple peaked here, and he does pay the price, but... There's already two members of the terrorist force down, and now Nitro and Elyse going to get aggressive. And there's Wabbit picking off another one, so it's back to even strength on 3v3. Yeah, but I mean, just pinned so far away. Nitro's going to commit to that fight. He gets the bomb down, and he's not punished for it whatsoever, so he actually is going to get away. Not really any kind of investment here out of Follow Esports, which is pretty nice. With that bomb plant, they'll get the third round by. They'll get the AK-47s out. So looking pretty decent. Besides, uh, aside from just getting kind of cleaned up this round a little bit, Elyse does drop out there at the end of this round, but he was already dead, so not too much of an issue. Yeah, and with them only, they didn't even invest in any rifles this round. It was all uh, SMG, so they put a lot of money in the bank. Nitro picking up two kills that round, Fugly and Adren as well. Even though uh, one of Nitro's kills was with the Tech 9, so he didn't get as much money as he probably would have preferred. But Ape, still your lone survivor on the terrorist side, trying to make something happen here in alternate mid. He hasn't even picked up the bomb yet, so he's just looking to do some damage if he can. He does have Adren there at the bottom of mid. Hiko's going to take the shoulder peek, and Adren should peek out, and they do combine to take him down. So that will be a second round for Liquid, and I do expect, well, Elyse is back in so no timeouts going to be taken here from liquid yeah the question is how many of them are going to upgrade i mean I, hiko's going to keep the p90 or drop it over to a teammate for sure but are nitro and adren going to upgrade those mp7s or are they just going to save them um the big thing as well because you do see the five ak's out for follow esports and actually a leash picks up a p90 instead of upgrading to a rifle so they actually have four smgs on the board on the liquid side pretty interesting but they have a lot of utility to use behind it so they can do some pretty creative things and it looks like three players over at b try to establish some banana control but a leash gets blocked off by a molotov he mows one down so does fugly all of a sudden a really really good round yeah, those SMGs going to work, and Elyse already with an AK now. He's got one pick with the P9. He swaps immediately to the AK, and now they're going to have an extra rifle on the CT side for the remainder of this round. Hiko lining up a smoke here from CT spawn. He's going to launch that down to the bottom side of Banana to hold that area off as well, as he does have Elyse pushed very aggressively down there, and that's going to allow him to retreat if he do, does so choose back towards that B-bomb site, and that's exactly what he's going to do as he works his way up through the uh, pillars there. But now... What do the terrorists side of Follow Esports do? They have no map control whatsoever. They do have one player at the top of mid, which is Hades, spamming a smoke, but he's not finding any connection on anybody over in that area. So what do they do, Moses, in a man-down situation on the terrorist side of Inferno? The only real thing to do here, I mean, they don't have a lot of utility. They have one smoke and two flashes. This is pretty much all they're resigned to, and they're committed to it now because they have no map control anywhere else. So they've actually got to speed this up before the rotations come in, and this is good. This is a one-on-three for them. Elijah's got to come up with something before Hiko gets over here. But there's not a lot of pressure being put on. Yeah, and Hiko's made his way over. He drops the flashbang out, and there it is. Elyse's going to spray and pray. He doesn't connect, and Hades hits the headshot. So that's the B-bomb site open for business. And now we're back down to a 3v3. It's the pistol round all over again. But this time, it's two SMGs and a rifle in the hands of the CT side as opposed to the uh, pistols only. But we'll see whether or not they can execute this retake once again.
That was a really ugly hold by Elise. You don't often see him just commit to a spray like that. He's a little bit more precise normally, but here comes the flash. Nitro's going to lead the way, finds that first kill. Now it's a three on two. Elsa's got to hold things off as Ocean gets smoked off, and there's a Dread. Spots him coming through the smoke, gets that kill, and now it's just all down to Elsa. It's the first two. Can he handle the third? He can. It's the P90 with a kid as well, so Hiku should have this no problem. Nice retake from Team Liquid. Yeah, and again, not a big investment from them out of that round either. Elise picking up the P90, and the only rifle buy was Nitro with the M4 that round. So they actually got out of that with a lot of money as well. You can see $8,000 for Hiko. He's 6-0 and right now, hasn't died. 4K on the pistol round and picks up a couple more frags in the last couple of rounds. So 3-0 for Liquid, and again, that's going to reset that money on the follow esports side. So Tech Nines, one person did pick up head armor. That is going to be L's to see whether or not he can make anything happen this round. Smoke all the way to the top of mid to start this round out off of the back of Ocean. So see where they do decide to go this round, Moses. Yeah, it's it's really nicely done early on from Team Liquid. So even with that plant, Elsa can afford that head armor because now he's going to start getting the losing bonus going his way as well. So that's actually not too big of an investment. Pop flash in the halls just to get some information, but they don't see anything. We should mention, because this is a really good start of the Team Liquid, that since Hiko joined, what, like three weeks ago or so? It was last month sometime. Uh, our, our Rotoderp has told us that Liquid is 29-8 and eight since Hiko has joined. So very, very quickly have they been uh, rising to the top of North American Counter-Strike. Yeah, and that just shows you the impact that he's had on this roster, bringing a lot of wealth of knowledge to this team as well. You can actually see Adrin does pick up the AWP for this round, so fully invested now are the CT side as they do have the uh, four rifles with the AWP to boot, but there you go. Adrin's actually going to miss the first shot. He's going to go for the repeat. Does drop the flashbang out. Hits another one, but Nitro and Fugly are there to clean up two more. And there it is, the last one. Nitro going to have the 3K on the round. Quick, uneventful round there for Team Liquid as they do pick up their fourth. Yeah, managing that really, really well. I mean, there was, there was no real risk whatsoever against those Tech 9s, so not a huge deal, and they don't overcommit to any fights. You could see Adren just being cautious, staying alive, grabbing his one kill in Arkside, but this is the big round. This is on the follow esports. They have their 5 AKs once again. They have their Molotovs, three of them. They have smokes across the board, so they can they have, they have all options open to them, but they've got to at least do some damage here before this money really starts blooming for Team Liquid. And Bloom it shall. Again, Hiko surviving that last round just puts more money in the bank for his team and multiple frag rounds here for a couple of the other players as you saw Nitro picking up a couple that last round as well. So the money definitely going to start stacking up here for the CT side. And you can see actually this is a cheeky little boost if they could find it over here in the left side or the arch side of mid. As Adrian did look like he wants to get up on top of his teammate's head. But look at this Fugly isolated in pit. He's going to go down. But now behind the smoke, he can see through it. Adrian, he's going to miss the shot. Drops the nade. That might take down eight. So it drops him down to 18 HP. And Ocean's going to burn Nitro alive after he gets traded out. So a pretty good-looking start to this round for the Follow Esports squad. Yeah, Liege on the flank, though. He's going to go in towards Hull. So really, Adren's just got to hold far back, try and stay alive, see if he can get one pick. It doesn't look like Follow Esports is going to give him too much to work with. You also have Hiko coming up lane, so they've got to manage this really, really well. They have a lot of nades and flashes to hold them back. And now Elise creeping his way on out. He's going to spot Hades. Hades capitalizes on it and does take him down, and that's going to leave Hiko and Adren in a two versus three. Uh, Adren does take down eight, but it looks like they're just going to evacuate from the bomb site and try to hang on to the rifles. And now Adren's really got to be careful because he is getting chased down. As you can see, Hades coming around the corner. Adren's going to hit a nice shot on him, but Els is there as well as Wabbit. He should go down, and he does. Let's see if they decide to pick up the AWP and put it into one of their players' hands this round, and they do. Yeah, I'd imagine Wabbit's just going to keep that. Uh, I mean, he's the one that he's the one that's known for kind of using the AWP out of this roster. So, nicely done. Follow Esports gets their first one. But they cannot afford to get reset here. And with that op, things are going to slow down. That round was just players just walking out halls very, very aggressively. And Fugly wasn't ready for it in the pit. He was not prepared for that kind of aggression. They swung out wide before he was ready. He had an aid in his hands, and they get punished for it. So, now Liquid's going to have to be a little bit more aware of that. Yeah, not only that, they had both... Um both Fugly and Adren playing on the arch side as opposed to having one maybe close on boiler or truck side to stop it. And that wall of smokes just completely separated them from uh, from Nitro in the pit. So he was just completely isolated. And even if he would have picked off one, it should have been an easy trade regardless and a free bomb site at that point. Oh, look at Elijah getting aggressive. Nice shot. Now he's able to fall back. Doesn't even take damage. So that's beautifully done from Elijah. Huge advantage now for Liquid. Five on four. The op is down. So definitely a good start there for Liquid, trying to reset that money on the follow esports side. Now that bomb playing last round did put a little extra money in the bank for him, but they did buy down again as they did lose a couple of members at the end of that last round. I believe they only had two alive, Wabbit and uh, Ape, or Wabbit and Els, I believe, were the last two alive in the last round. 
Yeah, Hades has worked his way up mid up towards bracket, so uh, he's just here going to be a lurker, maybe try and cut off some rotations, but he's smoked off from the rap side, so there's not a whole lot he can do except cause some minimal distraction. He goes cheated over towards the A site, so once again, it's a liege playing behind the smoke. He doesn't have one to follow up with it, but he does have two flashbangs if an execute starts to come in, and now he sees it. Now he can just toss him out, play a little bit safe, try and keep him back as long as possible when they're blinded. Blinds one, there's Elsa down. Yeah, Leech is able to pick off one, but Ape is going to be there to burn him alive. He did stand in that Molotov. He does manage to pick up the kill, but the trade does come out. The bomb plant does go down, and it's going to be a man advantage for Liquid on the retake. See what they have here. Ocean playing at New Box. You've got Hades playing from Emo. And you've got, again, it's the same setup that they had in the pistol round. Same exact defense of this bomb plant. Yeah, they're trying to lurk out a peek from some of the boxes. Ape's going to take down Nitro, though, and this one's going much better with these ak 47 Still down to a 2-on-2, two -two, but that bomb has been ticking for very long, and that kill by Hades just seals it. Adren's the only one left. He can't do anything. Does get away with his gun, but that's going to be a second round for Follow Esports, and that's Liquid out of money completely now, so they're going to be onto a save round. So chance here for Follow Esports to equalize the score, or get it a little bit closer, excuse me, and creep up towards four rounds. Definitely. Definitely. So if they are able to, um, pardon me, if they are able to pick up this next round, then I'm going to put themselves into a pretty solid start to their terrorist side. I mean, we're only into the seventh round of the first half, so they've got a really good opportunity. It's just a matter of capitalizing on it. They do put the op back in the hands of Wabbit. He didn't really even have it. I don't even think he shot a bullet the last time they had an op. He got killed so quick by a liege. Yeah, no, yeah, I think he just got so blinded and a liege took advantage of it. So that was actually really, really well done. So again, we're going to be seeing them uh, slow things down on the terrorist side. No real early commitment. You can see Nitro and Fugly both playing aggressive in halls. They might come under some fire here as uh, you can see Elsa playing out on, underneath of the stairwell right now out by the uh, the window room balcony. Yeah, look at, this three man, but look at this three-man stack over towards B. So they actually get aggressive, try and grab some intel, but they don't spot anything. So now it's on Nitro and Fugly. I mean, they know they're going to have some pressure put on him without any intel gathered at B, and there's Nitro. He spots one out, and he falls very, very quickly. Yeah, Hades has been doing a really, really good job so far in, uh, in this matchup. He's been getting a lot of really solid entry frags, but they're not ready for Fugly to be coming around from the apartment hallways as well, and he's going to be able to find the back of Hades. He's going to peek out and does spot Ape as well, so that rotation, well, they're just going to hold strong there in the B-bomb site, not even going to give up their pistols at this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising there was no rotate once uh, once Nitro gets taken out. Not even not even the rifle or anything like that. They had some players boosted up. They could have kept that safe while still you know maybe trying to deal some damage. Fugly might just want to get this AK-47 and fall away for the next round with two rifles. They can really make something happen. It could even be a force buy behind it. And we'll have to see. Wabbit's going to get an opportunity. He does take down Fugly. He's going to miss the shot on the liege. The liege is going to go down in the long run, and there it is. Ape is going to be able to find one. Adrin trades it out, and Ocean, through the smoke, finds the headshot onto Adrin, takes him down, and that is the third round on the board now for Follow Esports. As we move forward into the eighth, there's only one round difference between the two teams. Liquid still up top, 4-3. to three. Yeah, and I, I'm kind of surprised at how late in the round Liquid commits to that uh, on the rotate over. So they, they lose, I mean, they could have saved that AK-47, but uh, I mean, I know they wanted to go for some kills, but either way, they lose both the rifles and now they have a full buy. So, uh, you know, if they'd been able to keep both those and, and still full bot in this round, it would have been much, much stronger. As it is, one kit on Fugly and very, very light utility. Four smokes left in the kit. And then we're going to see a triple push B to gain banana control. And now Dren's going to fall off immediately, but... Follow Esports moving pretty aggressively. They're camped completely around these A-Halls. No one's watching their B-Flank. And that could cause some problems moving forward. So we'll have to see whether or not they're able to capitalize on this. It's going to be another quick push towards the A-Bomb site. And that's a nice counter flash in mid. Fugly's going to capitalize. Takes down both Ocean and Hades. Nitro's going to be there for Elsa that was dropping out of the apartment hallways. But now it's going to be Ape and Wabbit to try to make it happen. Now it's just out of Wabbit as another nice shot rings in from Nitro. As he connects with that M4A4 spray. And he actually tags down Wabbit from Pit. 36 HP left for him and an AWP in his hands. And there it is. Nitro going to get the 3K to close out the round. And that will be Liquid capitalizing on another gun round. As they try to reset the money situation here for the terrorist side. And they do exactly that. They might be able to force up a little bit behind what they do have. That was a really nice defense by Fugly and Nitro working, both of them coming from lane. That pop flash was perfect, like you said, but Nitro just turning around. I mean, he's just playing with the small bit of cover that that pillar provides, and he had some really nice shots uh, to the players jumping out of halls. So kudos to him for holding that down really, really strongly. 
And now, yeah, I mean, this could have been a force buy out of follow esports, but they want to have the full buy. They want to have the full economy, so they're just going to play it safe and, and save one round here and be able to grab the AK 47s and utility next round. Nice shot from Adren down mid, though, is going to find Hades, so the early man advantage going the way of Liquid once again at AWP. Starting to light up a little bit here in the hands of Adren. He's 7 and 4 on the scoreboard, 7 and 2 for Hiko. And now the push coming up towards Banana, and they've got the double peak going on there, and Hiko's going to be able to spam one down as well as get the headshot onto Wabbit. And he's still looking for it. That AK has been picked up by 8, but the flank is coming out. Nitro should be able to spot him, takes him down, and Hiko falling back intelligently, and he's going to survive the round as well, so 6 to 3 for Liquid. Looking good. Adren's got that AWP as well. And here's that yeah. buy. They're not going to have an op on the T side anymore, but here's that. Here's what that affords. There's four AK-47s. Utility isn't what they'd like it to be on Ocean. He's got nothing, but Ape's, Ape's going to have to force up either a Tech-9 or a Galil, and he goes for the Galil. So, decent buy out of follow esports. I, I honestly can't say that I blame them for not putting the AWP back in Wabbit's hands. Really, the only round that it's been effective so far was on their anti-eco round where he picked off two saving CTs. Uh, as opposed to that, he hasn't really gotten any kills with the AWP yet. Yeah, Elise playing this much like Flusha does jumping, or not Flusha, uh, pl like Fnatic players do, jumping over the smoke trying to find a kill. See Olaf Meister do that from time to time. And now Hiko's gonna respond. He's just gonna push up and get more aggressive. Spots him coming through, but he's in midair when they come around. And he gets dropped, but there's Nitro. He gets here just in time, muffs a flashbang, which is pretty rough. But now he's got a lot of work to do. Ape's making a work for it as well. Adren rotates over. That's the AWP bailing him out of a tough spot. Getting a second one as well. Can he get a third? No, but he's holding this down. And it's a two-on-two two in the HP of Follow Esports. So incredibly low. Yeah, and Fugly's already on the flank coming around from the Banana Hall. So we'll see whether or not he can get in there. They waste their last smoke over towards the uh, CT spawn, so that's going to give a little bit of clairvoyance. Fugly's already pushed his way in. He's going to be able to spot the bomb carrier and takes him down as well. So that's going to be Ocean out, and L's not in a position to trade that one out. He only has 19 HP, so the spray uh, could have been transferred over from one player to the other and gotten the double there, but nevertheless, he doesn't put himself into a position to capitalize. He still hasn't even gotten the bomb picked up or got the bomb plant. Now Adren sitting all the way back behind the car here outside of the uh, CT arches. He's going to be looking for L's to push around. I, all he can really do at this point is, is get the bomb down, and he can't even find it in the fountain, so maybe he can't even really do that. But Liquid's playing this very, very intelligently, just waiting far, far back. He and can't yeah, find the Elsa, Elsa can't find the bomb whatsoever, <laughs> so it's just over. And they're just going to wait for this timer to run down, and then they're just going to they're just gonna bail on in. Fugly's got a Molotov, but he's just going to go straight up for the battle, and he wins it. That's a little bit unfortunate there for... Uh... For Elsa, he might have been able to put a little bit of money in the bank for his squad for the next round if he was able to do that. They might have actually been able to buy up after that because they have <laughs> lost three in a row, but unfortunately not going to be able to find it. And I see the Twitch chat blowing up a little bit off of that one. That was pretty I, funny, though. I just imagine him as like a kid walking up to like a fountain and trying to like pick pennies out of the water like the wishing wells. <laughs> Where is it? Poor guy. That's so unfortunate. It was literally a foot in front of him and he couldn't find it. Fast push up mid though, they are going to go full speed, Nitro picks off one, but Els is there to trade it out, and now that Molotov comes around towards the truck side, and look at this rotation, they, they play three strong over that B bomb site to start things off, but Elise is going to have himself a field day, gets one and two, looking for the last one in Ocean, and he does manage to get the headshot onto him as well. So eight to three, now your scoreline, but I have a question for you, Moses. With this new update, what do you think about all these players switching back to the A4? Uh, I think we're going to see more switch back to the silence to the M4A1 as time goes on. I think right now it's just honeymoon phase. No, they just haven't had a lot of time to really to really uh, experience it, and they just kind of see you see the patch notes, and it just looks like the M4A1 got nerfed to hell. Uh, I think it'll take a little bit of time. I see. I think we'll see a few more people switch back, but I, I think it'll even out as well. I think more people will stay with the M4A4. So I'd like to see good balance between the two, because obviously it was heavily skewed towards the way of the A1. It's it's hard to get a good read on it. There's a Dren getting a nice pick with the AWP, but it's hard to get a good read on an update just, you know, the second day in, you know, not even yeah. the first full day. So I think give it a week or two and it'll start to normalize. Agreed. But again, that early pick going the way of Liquid, and obviously with the uh, changes they've had to the M4s and getting reacquainted with the A4s, they haven't had much of a problem here on their CT side so far getting... Uh, well, the predominant number of the gun rounds, I think only one gun round has gone the way of Follow Esports so far. Maybe two. Yeah, that's very that's very possible. They did reset the economy pretty early, though, of Team Liquid. But either way, I, Liquid's defense has just been dominant for the most part. Now eight to three, four players remaining, and they're not they're not gaining any grounds. They're getting into some of these battles. Adren's been dealt some decent damage over towards B, but 
They haven't really gained too much progress. All they have left, I have 40 seconds left, no map control. Once again, it's just Hades up towards mid, towards brackets, and he's going to throw a really weak fake. And no one's going to rotate off this B bomb site for this. I mean, this is just kind of follow esports. Just uh, Liquid's just running down the clock at this point. Molotov behind the smoke. They're going to have to run right through that, but Adren's not even going to wait for that. Neither is Elise. They're just going to spray him down. Not even going to give him an opportunity to get a whiff of that bomb site just yet. Now Elise is in the back. He's going to be able to find both of them. That's spray control. Transferring it over to the head of Ocean. Gets it done. 9-3 to three now for Liquid. Yeah, I mean, Leech, that he knows they like to molly off those boxes when they do these hits. So you could see him. He was looking back for when they actually landed. And he did the only thing that was really available to him, which is push forward. Get immediately behind that smoke, throwing a little bit of a flash to half blind him and, and just get out of the flames. And he mows a couple down. But now, now I mean, you can see Follow Esports is in a lot of trouble. I'm assuming this is a tactical pause out of the terrorist side because they've just been stuck. They've been shut down five rounds in a row. Not a whole lot of progress being made by them. And the money is now just ballooning for uh, for Team Liquid. You can see Fugly's got about nine thousand. Alicia's fifty five hundred. Hiko is seventy four hundred. I mean, this is just this is just looking ugly. Yeah, the only one broke is Adrin because they didn't manage to salvage the AWP after the last round, so he had to buy down. You can see he actually invested seventy eight fifty in this round, so yeah, really heavy huge. investment. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's the thing, and he still has thirty five hundred behind it, so he mm -hmm. was mad rich before yeah, that he had purchase. A, so eleven thousand beforehand, at least. Yeah, so I mean, esports. This is the thing. Their their first gun round they did on the on the on the fifth round, or not their first gun round, but on the fifth round when they just straight up walked out halls. They they did it so quick. There is a little bit of a weakness at the say bomb site uh, at times, a little bit disjointed. And I mean, th they might not have the intel, but if they go back to something aggressive, back to something a little bit more fast, because at the moment they're just kind of toying around across the map, not making progress, and then settling into a B hit at the end, and and that's not going to work against against better teams. So they've got to find something to do over at the A bomb site. They've got to have Someone make a play, get an early pick for him. And really, it just happened to be the, the first gun round that they got was because of the isolation that they got that we talked about. Nitro getting stuck in pit with a nade out by himself. Smokes on the uh, moto side, smokes on the arch side, and no line of sight for Fugly and Adrenaline. You can see how they kind of adapted to that and switched up their CT play style over there at the A-bomb site where the, the one round that they completely shut down was Nitro and Fugly, both playing aggressive over by the boiler side. And uh, the, they didn't even have to worry about the smokes at that point because they had to filter in towards the bomb site one way or another. And coming out halls like that, they've got two rifles on it. So it definitely shows, you know, I, I do look at the tab and I see the CT coach Liquid James in there. So he might be able to give a little bit of feedback as to what's going on here. Yeah, well, James is, uh, yeah, he's been the, uh, he's been coaching now. That is something, I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know this coming into last night when we did our first broadcast. This is now coaching slots for these teams. So that's actually pretty cool to see. I'm not sure how much of an impact, uh, how much of like actual in-round calling James has. Um, I know he himself is just getting back into the game as, you know, took a long break off of it. So he's kind of learning as he goes with this coaching role. So it'd be interesting to, uh, to hear how much, uh, how much input he has round around. Well, I think actually one of the one of probably the biggest roles that he has right now is helping his team adapt to mistakes that they're making. And there you go. This is a completely different change of pace now. As you see, Adren getting aggressive there in halls. They are going to be able to filter one player over. That's Wabbit over towards the boiler room, but he did get tagged down to 76. But again, that man advantage starting with Liquid. And kind of what I was saying was like when I was talking about what they, the mistakes they made on that first gun round that they lost with playing two players over on Arch side, we haven't really seen that kind of a a stack since then so that might have been something that james touched on with them and said hey you know your your defense over there on the truck side is a little bit weak we uh, we need to tighten things up a little bit well i was actually going for this boost and he actually would have had a great opportunity to pick off a liege if they'd been able to do it quicker but i mean that takes him so long he, i don't even think he actually successfully gets up until just now so there's nothing there for him whatsoever so that's a little unfortunate, but either way, Hades, this is this is the most success he's had on this tactic of just kind of lurking up towards brackets. He picks off Adren on the wrap side, and now he's in a perfect position to cut off rotators or flank, but he actually is going to get a free kill on a Nitro who's not prepared for him to be there. Fugly pushes all the way down mid. Now he turns around. He sprays. He gets Hades. They're down to a three on three, and they're boxed in, but Fugly's got to get away. Bomb's rotating back towards the A bomb site. Now Fugly's got a lot of work to do as they cross. He sprays one down, but the bomb does get across. This could be at least a plant, but it's a one on three. Not really so much left for Elsa to do. Yeah, and Fugly's going to be right there for him. Not even going to get the plant. Fugly, nice job from him that round. Picks up the 3K. A lot of patience on him as well, getting that cross towards the uh, top side of mid as well as, you know, avenging his fallen comrades in that A-bomb site. But picks up the 3K, shuts it down, and Liquid off to a seven-round lead now as we're into the second-to-last round. 
Yeah, they're just they're just killing it. They're cruising at the moment, and there's nothing. I follow esports hasn't really put any pressure on them. Look at that. This is six rounds straight, the money is just ballooned at this point. There's there's nothing that this T side is having success doing, which is a little bit unfortunate. And the other big part about it too is Liquid's not really doing anything flashy or abnormal. You know, the I mean, early on they were they were getting very aggressive on Banana. They were you know pushing down in middle and things like that on the anti eco rounds to start the match off. But now it's kind of stagnant CT side standard stuff. And now we see Ocean actually opening up on the Nitro there on the arc side. And uh, he's going to find Fugly. So a little bit of early success in this round so far for the uh, follow esports squad. Yeah, this, this is what I was talking about. They just group up and they're aggressive. They just walk up mid as a group, and once again, they find the weak spot in the defense. I mean, it's a blind counter. They didn't really know who's going to come, but they hit a couple of nice shots, entry into that A site, and all of a sudden, if they lose this round, they're just going to have to bang their head against the wall and wonder what went wrong. And this should be impossible for Hiko and, or Hiko and Adren to do anything, but they have so much money built up, they might just go for some exit kills, try and weaken the buy in the next round for FE. And look at this, Adren right around the corner. He's going to get easy pickings on Hades, and... Hiko's spraying and praying finds Ls. They might just go for this. Bomb is taken away, but Hiko's going to find another one. Molotov to the backside of the site. That's going to burn a little bit towards Ape. It's going to take him down. If he sits in it too long, they almost find Wabbit as well. Dren does burn one, and Hiko picks off the last. So even though they lose the round, that economical damage you were talking about, they got nothing out of it, Follow Esport. Yeah, that, that's that's just atrocious from, from Follow Esports, that round. Losing all five members. And even though they win it, I mean, fourth round, great. But look at this buy the next time. If they were able to get up towards five with the half that they've had, that would have been incredible. But now I, a very small chance they're going to be able to do that. I would imagine a Dren with this AWP. I, they're not going to fall to some to this team just walking up mid once again and hitting some nice shots. So that's unfortunate. Just imagine if Hiko and a Dren moved a little bit earlier. They might have actually had time to get that defused too. Yeah, right? Just a couple seconds. Or, yeah, Hiko's able to find that kill towards the lane side a little bit quicker. Either way. A lot of what-ifs, but nevertheless, follow eSports. They do pick up their fourth round, so they've got a little bit of a cushion should they lose the pistol round here in the second half. Obviously, that's not the prerogative for them, but they do have a little bit of wiggle room at this point. But 10 rounds on the CT side, already a pretty solid stand from Liquid, and they're not really showing any signs of slowing down at this point. Yeah, I mean... You know who's slowing down is, is follow esports. You really, they're not doing anything aggressive whatsoever. There's the op from Adren over towards Rap. Yeah, and again, that was kind of the big thing before. They're going up mid, completely dry. They don't even smoke it off, so they're going to go for the op shot here. Adren, he's going to be able to find Ocean, looking for another one. They're already around the corner. He's going to shoulder peek, misses the shot. Going to drop a nade out with Nitro's there. Oh, Rabbit, though. He's going to find two and takes them both down. Nitro and Adren fall. And that's going to leave it all on Fugly, who's stuck in the pit all by his lonesome. He's getting pushed on. He's not going to be able to find the kill onto Ape, and it's a Leash and Hiko in a 2v3. That rotation is going to come around. Ape does have an op in pit, but Els is going to go down. Pardon me, that was Els in pit with the AWP. Or, he was somewhere with an op. I don't know my minimap, but there you go. Wabbit's going to find the 3k on the round, and it's Hiko in a 1v2. How many times have we seen Hiko in these clutching rounds, and he's come out on top. He's going to be able to spot out Ape. He's going to switch his position up and try to push on Wabbit. They've got a great crossfire. He baits out the shot. He spins. He gets one. He gets the second as well. He's got time with the kit. And there you go. Hiko clutching the 1v2 again. Yeah, this is uh, this is just Hiko. This is what he does. He's so good at coming into a bomb site. And, and one of the things he was really good at when I experienced playing against him in those situations in one on twos is using the noise that he's making, using his footsteps. And you could see he kind of just shot a couple bullets early on. He, he you know he either fears you into not peeking or baits you into peeking exactly when he wants you. And he's very very good at that kind of play. And you can see it perfectly there. Yeah, exactly like you said. He shot two bullets towards Wabbit through the box, and that got Ape to peek, thinking that his teammate's getting shot at, and Hika was just had him in his crosshairs already, and then spins around because he already knows where Wabbit is. Great awareness from Hiko. That just shows his veteran experience right there. And, I mean, what what can you say about the guy? He's, a, he's an animal when he's playing this good. Yeah, he's, uh, well, he stopped fragging first team right now. Actually, the, the scoreboard's reset right now at halftime, so it goes live again, but I think he ended with, like, 16 kills. So, uh, I mean, he's top fragging first team. Everyone's playing really well on the Liquid side, but, yeah, that that's the thing. He's just one of those players, no matter how he's doing in a match, in terms of his score, he's just so dangerous in a clutch situation. So he, he's one of those players that can be effective no matter how poorly he might be playing. All he needs to do is win one clutch for you, and all of a sudden you have a lot off that one round. 
And a lot is exactly what he got in that last round. So 11-4 to four for Team Liquid moving into the second half here. And what could have been a 10-5, what should have been a 10-5 half if he could not decide to go Super Saiyan in that last round and take down the final two, we could have seen a 10-5 score. And that puts Follow Esports in not such a bad position, but 11-4, to four, it's a little bit of a different ball game here. Yeah, this is just, there's very little, there's very little window of opportunity for Follow Esports. I mean, they can't make a mistake early on. You know, they can't lose Pistol, they can't lose the second round, uh, you know, things of that nature. They have to get that money built up early on. They have to have the Molotovs out very, very quickly and not take too much damage when they're winning rounds. So that that's kind of the big danger for them. But either way, Liquid, they've got a lot of rounds to play with here. Yes, they do. And again, picking up that T-side Pistol is just going to be detrimental to follow esports because you could already see liquid at a 14 to 4 scoreline before they even get into their first buy on the cp side and then there's just absolutely no room for air at that point i mean you got to be flawless the whole way back to to even mount a comeback and you're talking 12 rounds for a for a flawless comeback against a team like liquid yeah, and, and especially like the way that Nitro and, and Elise have been playing, that's the thing. That was kind of their big weakness is when they first formed this team with these guys, you know, they had a good month or two, and then they kind of started dropping off and they're fragging. I mean, these are two players that need to stay aggressive. So the, the big key for Follow Esports is going to be making sure they can't be aggressive early on in rounds. You know, run the clock down, it, just just the standard play on Inferno, smoke off those choke points, and that's why the, their utility, their Molotovs, is so crucial. That's why they have to stabilize the economy very, very early on in this match, because if you give Elysia and Nitro room to work with round after round, if you let them be as aggressive as they'd like to be without pressure being put on them, they're going to punish you for it eventually. All right, so going into the second half now, 11-4. to four, Team Liquid now on the terrorist side. Follow Esports playing CT defense. And we'll see if they can mount any kind of a comeback here on their CT side by picking up this pistol round. And again, it's like you said, touching on the scoreboard. Hiko, 16-3. and three. Yeah, that's actually pretty incredible that they lost. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's insane. So not dying too much whatsoever. Nicely done from Hiko. The only, the only rounds that, that Follow Esports picked up, with the exception of one of their round wins, were rounds where they killed Hiko. I want Hiko to bust out the duelies this round. That would make me Ooh, so happy. Ooh, that would... Come on, do it. Nope. Need kit. But that's all right, because Adren's going to pick up a Molotov and a smoke. They've got two smokes, two Molotovs, three flashes, four flashes to work with here on the T side. Only two players picking up armor, so this is a, uh interesting investment. We'll see where they decide to throw these nades out this round. As you can see, Ocean going to be on a 5-7 as well as Hades, and the rest of them are going to go. Only one kid on the CT side, Ape, two sm or three smokes, as well as the uh, two body armors for Els and Wabbit, so... Yeah, this buy is really weird. With two, with three smokes on the board, they just use one over towards the B bomb site. That'll go out just after one minute, at around 58 seconds. But, I mean, I guess their strategy is to try and run this clock down, like bait Liquid into thinking that there's just one player here hiding behind the smokes. And then all of a sudden, if they come through it at a certain point, there's three players and they won't be ready for that. So, if that's their line of thought, then then that's what's working out so far. As you see, Liquid, they're just fully committed to the B bomb site. With the exception of Fugly, who looks like he's going to be trying to bait some uh, somebody to stay over there towards that A-bomb site uh, over the long run. And here you go, Molotov into the back of the site, smokes as well. And let's see, Ape does have a smoke on him, but he's not throwing it out just yet. And you can see L's actually trying to chip away. Ocean gets gooshed down to 9 HP, and now they're going to try to make the push into the bomb site. And there you go, Nitro is going to be able to find first blood, but look at that, the bomb in A. Wabbit does manage to find one. Hades actually able to chime in with one as well, and Wabbit's still down here in the pit. So this offensive over the A bomb site gets shut down uh, relatively quickly here by two players, and Hades still trying to find one. Wabbit as well, he's just trying to hold him from getting that bomb plant while his teammates rotate on around. and be able to spot him out, but they do get the plant. Hiko going to be able to get that down into Dren. He's, he's so low, but he picks up two more, and Hiko gets the last day out of combined total of 17 health. <laughs> These clutch rounds are not in Apollo Esports' favor at all. Yeah, Adren wins that round 100%. While Hiko's getting the bomb down, Adren's doing so much work. Finds the initial kill coming into the site that gives Hiko the space to plant. Two players come, coming from Small Pit. And actually, Adren's just so low, but he hits some really, really nice shots. And one more time, just another round that, that follow esports, they have them cordoned into the bomb site. They didn't need to just push in like that. They could have played the timer a little bit. They could have used the range of their USPs to try and find those kills. So. Uh, I mean, Follow Esports just gets punished, and now they buy. Look at this rush down mid. Grab that first kill on Hiko, but there's still a lot of arsenal left. Elish finds one with the, with the Mac-10 before he falls. 
Now coming up T-Ramp. Actually, this is looking Ooh. really, really good for follow esports. Yeah, and they got the bomb down there at T-Ramp as well. Nitro's going to be able to find one, but the MP7 of Fugly going to be able to lay out two more, and what looked good to start has fallen apart very quickly. Ocean going to push on down. Banana maybe try to salvage a weapon here, but he might be able to. He does spot the back of Nitro, so he knows that they're committing to this A-bomb site. And now he's just going to try to lurk himself up. But Fugly already in pit. He's in a good post-plant position to start this one off in this defense. And Nitro is going to join him in the pit as well. So really kind of an impossible setup for Ocean to crack into as he is coming around from the apartment side. And uh, with Fugly playing behind Statue, it's going to be really, really difficult for Ocean to make this happen. Yeah, I think just he one, more yep. one more time. Everything just looks good for Follow Esports for like a split second. And then just some player from Liquid just explodes and they destroy everyone. So... I mean, that was so promising for uh, for FE, and now with that buy, Wabba didn't, didn't invest in anything, so they want him to have an op on this CT side, but, I mean, it might not even matter too much. All of a sudden, they, they're not able to upgrade anything. They don't have any armor whatsoever. Liquid's already on 13 rounds. This should theoretically get them up to 14, and just no more mistakes for follow esports to give out. Yeah, not at all. They're going to stack the B bomb site this round and just play solo Wabba at the A bomb site. He's going to go... And a boiler room and maybe see if there's going to be anybody aggressive over from the alternate mid. But again, it's just going to be a slow strat here from the liquid side. And rightfully so. There's no reason for him to, to do anything crazy. There's the pop flash in Nitro. One, two, three in a row. Can he get the fourth as well? Yes, he can. And Fugly on the other side of the map finds Wabbit. A clean round from Team Liquid. And that's exactly what they need moving forward. This is the big round here. The op on Wabbit's hands. He does have no head armor, but still not a great buy to Liquid. They don't actually, Fugly's not even going to upgrade from the MP7. Hiko still got that Galil, so play in the economy game for a little bit longer. See if they can upgrade to some of these N4s in this round. But Follow Esports has got to come out to a commanding, commanding sequence of rounds in this, in, you know, the next six or seven, at least. Yeah, they can't lose players on any of these rounds. And... That's not a good start at all. Hiko with a nade kill, followed up with a Galil kill, and Fugly already pushing through the apartment halls with the MP7. He's going to be able to find one Hades. He's almost got Wabbit down as well. He's on 6 HP. Wabbit not going to be able to find the shots, and it's all on Papa Ocean. Not going to be able to find anything. He's fallen back to retreat, and 15-4 to 4 is going to be your scoreline, so they got to play for the tie now, and this is not looking good for Follow Esports. Why not? First gun round, hit him with the ultra-aggressive strat on T-side. Yeah, that's just that's just some of that. No respect. Huge lead. They they have a lot of different tactics available to them, and it's it's why not? Let's see if they can stop this, and they obviously can't. So Ocean's the last one left with this M4. Just hiding in construction. There's no way they let him save this gun. The bomb hasn't exploded yet. Three people converging onto this B bomb site. He's got a lot of work to do. He gets spotted out. Elise is gonna be able to find him, spraying him down, though. Ocean is gonna be able to find first blood, but Nitro is there too fast, too furious, and he's gonna take him down. He's Another round on the board for Liquid. Only casualty is going to be a liege. The rest of them all survive, so that economy, even if, and that's a big if, Follow Esports are able to string a couple rounds together, it's going to take at least two, maybe three rounds for them to break the bank of Liquid already in this half. Yeah, this would take a miracle. This would be like a godlike comeback of proportions we've never seen before. So... Three Famuses, and look at Wabbit and Hades don't have any nades whatsoever to work with. Ocean and Ape, they're two of the stocked up players, but they're both at the B bomb sites. This A defense is actually going to be pretty weak. The only reason Elsa has anything is because he's only on a 5-7, which is pretty scary, but setting up a nice crossfire in these halls, you have Wabbit in the bedroom, Elsa coming up the stairs. Yeah, and again, same story with Ape over here at this B bomb site. He's only got the uh, CZ-75, which is why he was able to pick up a smoke and a, a flash and an HE, but Wabbit... Going to be able to find a liege. That crossfire pays off in the apartments, and we'll see if they can take that. They Here's where they've squandered it in the past is they've gotten that early man advantage a number of different times in this matchup, but then the explosive fragging power of Liquid just too much for them to handle, and they bring it right back and just turn the tables late round. Yeah, well, at this point, if Liquid committed to this push-up banana, they would have been stuck behind a smoke, and their tactics would have been extremely obvious. They only have one smoke to work with, though, so they might just end up going right back towards B. You can see that, that man advantage allows Elsa to cheat over into this connector, but he's actually going to rotate, just as I say, that back into the A site. So it's going to be a 3 or 4 on a 2 here, but it's all up to this initial battle. Can Fugly and Nitro find anything? One player at oranges, one player on spools. Flashbangs go out, but it's not going to be enough. Hiko's going to be able to find first blood. Ape is there with the CZ. Dinks one, takes two down. Hiko's going to be able to get the trade, so it is a 3v2 post plant, but it's going to be a Drennan Hiko. 
And Hiko doesn't even care. He's just going to spray one down through the smoke. That's already a 3K for him on the round. He's going to try to get himself out of dodge now over and towards the banana hallway. He's going to go ahead and reload that M4. Two versus two post plant. This is for the match right here. Can they do anything? Hiko looking for a 4K. Not going to find it just yet, but a Dren, the AWP. And there it is. Hiko with the 4K to close it out. 15 to 4 now. And we are on. Oh, never mind. Pardon me. It was already 15 to 4. It didn't update yeah, for me. 16 to 4. Let's play the round again, Moses. Oh, man. It, I, what did Hiko end on? Like, he only had like four deaths throughout that entire match. Uh, he's just yeah. an animal. And it's not uh, even necessarily the fact that he's getting massive kills, which he was anyways, but it's just kind of being clutch, not dying. I mean, that's how many rounds did we see Adren and Hiko together just just clutch out for their squad? So really nice match for Liquid, uh, and that's and that's a really really big beat down for them after they got smacked around last night. So that evens out their record. Right, you are. So again, sixteen to four going to be your score line for the final of that one, as uh, Liquid just completely overwhelm Follow Esports, and uh, we've got another matchup coming up here very very shortly for you guys which I've actually got server info for. I'm really excited for that. Yeah, we're going to throw to a quick break, though, while we wait for them to get in the server. It is going to be the next matchup will be Complexity versus Method. That's going to be on Mirage. So when we get back, it will be that matchup. 